Hey everybody, how are you? It's Lori and I am here to do your daily oracle messages for you. I am going to do it random today. Whatever pops out, pops out. I hope that all of you are happy, healthy, having some fun. I am going to ring the little chimes and invite in some fun energy. I'm also going to attempt to burn some Palo Santo here. Oops, I jiggled that table big time, sorry. Just a little spritz because I've been burning today and I've been sick, so I don't want too much. I need a little bit more than that, I think. There we go. All right, so I hope everybody here is happy, healthy, and having some fun. We'll just let that Palo Santo do its thing over here. And we'll start by getting you a spirit animal oracle message and the card that's going to come out today is Fox Spirit think on your feet you may have to make a quick decision here I don't think it's going to be anything too troubling too difficult I think you're going to respond very quickly and I also hear that it's you're going to make up a decision to give something up. You're going to let something go in order to take advantage of this situation here. Interesting. Now, you may feel like somebody's trying to um, pressure you. I don't, I don't see that being an issue for most of you, but a couple of you may feel like you're being pressured. Okay, and no matter what, you will make a healthy decision for yourself. You're quick witted, so you'll be able to like boom, 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 think through what's happening here and uh, take full advantage of the situation. I hear some of you might have to give something up, but others of you are going to choose to let something just go away so that you can take advantage of this. So somebody, instead of pressuring you, may say, hey, if you'll sell me your car for this amount of money, then I'll give you this car, and it'll be like a, a gift, okay? You, you're going to think this through, but you're going to do it pretty quick. You may even say, hey, can I have 24 hours to think about that? And they may say, no, you can have four, but I think you, that will be more than enough time for you to really think it through. Do not feel pressured. If you feel pressured, this message is not for you. This message is about you feeling comfortable pretty darn quickly on an offer that comes to you um, and you had to decide on, okay? So look at the confidence here. Affirmation for a positive change. So this is something that is good for you. You're confident in this. You are not fearing you know, going out on your own or the future or anything. You feel very confident here. And it does say that this is a positive change. Now, I do want to refer to the book for just a moment and see if there's anything in here that I am missing because I feel like there's something uh, going on that I'm unaware of. All right, so what does this say? It says that change can be scary and sometimes we resist making changes because we're afraid that we will make things worse instead of better. The best way to get past this fear is to direct your energy toward making sure that any shifts are positive, okay? So again, if you feel like you're being pressured and somebody's just saying you have to do this right now, right now, that's not making you comfortable. That's not a change for the positive, okay? So ask the power of water to move you in the right direction and put out your intention into the world as clearly and decisively as you can. So that just means to think things through clearly. Um, really search your heart. Really go inside and say, is this right for me? Is this the right decision? Is there anything I'm missing here? Don't hesitate to ask questions, okay? It seems like a simple thing, but doing one small act each day toward whatever positive change you wish to achieve will eventually move you closer to your goal. So we're not talking about a lot of time here. We're think, talking about moving quickly on your feet, thinking quickly on your feet. All right, but if you keep thinking things through one step at a time, then you will be in the right place. 
I'm also hearing this might be an opportunity that's going to come up to, um, for you within the next two to seven weeks. And if you start now, you can save change from your pocket and put it in a jar every day, okay? So that may help you work towards that. I mean, I know you can't see this opportunity coming, but you can kind of because I feel like if you need a new car, somebody around you, a family member, a friend is knows this and they're going to make you this offer, okay? And that's why I say I don't feel like this is high pressure. I feel like it's more like, am I willing to do this? You know, let somebody in my family or my friend help me in this manner. You're going to think it through clearly. Um, if it happens to be someone like a car dealership, again, I'm not getting a good vibe from that. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying really think it through, okay? All right, so anyways, that's where that is at. To help achieve your positive change, you could always light a blue or a white candle, and you can repeat this affirmation for yourself. If things don't seem to be moving forward, you can say it every day until it does, okay? With or without the candle. I am strong and capable, and every day moves me closer to achieving the positive change that I desire. So every moment that you are confident and um, you are powerful, you are in control of your own mind your own ability to make decisions does not mean you cannot that you can't reference other people and get information from other people or take that time to decide for yourself it's you're going to think fast you're going to think clearly all right let's see what else we've got coming out here spirits get, guiding me towards the enchanted map oracle message Let's see what we've got going on here today. Look at that strength. You do have the strength. You have the courage, the bravery to accomplish anything that you set your mind out. Uh, mind too. I'm also hearing um, balance here. 44, four feet on the ground, stability. There is growth. There's earth energy around you. Let's see if there's an earth sign coming through. We do have Virgo energy here and Taurus over here. So you may be dealing with somebody that's either a Taurus or a Virgo. Now, Taurus, I keep getting a business person. And the Virgo, more of a family member who wants to help out. Okay, Like they may be financially stable and they just want to offer something up good to you. All right, so let's see what the book says for this. What's the one-liner, as I like to say? Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power, okay? Trusting yourself, your God to guide you, your guardian angels, your elevated ancestors. All right, so it says here, pay attention Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm reading the wrong thing here. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting task is yours at this time. You will connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off course. I love that. As the potency of your connections become more obvious, you are able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. You'll be able to think uh, fast on your feet. Have courage and dive in. And isn't it funny that we've got all these water references here with the strength card, and yet it's the affirmation for positive change that's all about the water energy there. So have courage and dive in because magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and your reliance on a higher power working through you, everything is possible. And you can do anything right now at this time. Okay, whoops, trying to put that away. <laughs> All right, let's take another look. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Um, we have these oracle messages here let's see what's going to come out with those 
We have the globe, okay? So you have the ability to make big changes is what I'm hearing. Now this could, again, have something to do with travel. We had a car there, we have a boat here. Now we have the globe here and we also have the world. So there's definitely some sort of um, vehicle for movement, okay? Travel, a car, a boat, ski do, trailer, RV. Um, yeah, I definitely get something that's going to make you mobile, okay? So even if it's not an actual physical item that will make, um, that travels, like I just mentioned all of those, it's going to make you mobile in the sense that freedom, okay? Freedom to move, to do what you want to do. Your hands are not tied. You're not stuck in one place. So that's what's coming through with that message. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the C Melodies um, message is today. Oh, that Palo Santos, that Palo Santos smells so wonderful right now. I don't know why it's smelling just so beautiful, but boy, it does. I wish you could smell that. It was 11.11 11 on the timer when I looked up. All right, let's see what we have here. Portals opening, doors, opportunities, refreshing. Oh, I'll tell you, that was beautiful. Prudence, do not be lured by the siren's song, okay? So here's here's a mermaid back here, and she's calling to you. She's like, come out to the depths of the water. You're looking right past her. You're not even paying any attention to that mermaid, okay? Which is good because you don't want to be lured by the siren song right now. You want to keep going on the path that you are on, which is to think for yourself. Don't let other people lure you. Change your mind. Tell you, no, that's not the thing to do. You know what's right for you, okay? As long as you're trusting yourself and you're not doing things strictly from an egoic uh, place within yourself. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got here. Explore. Maps show what has already been discovered. Go a different way. So this is not going to be a typical offer. It's not going to be something that comes from a car dealership or um, a business of some sort. This is something different. It's unique, okay? It's a new opportunity. And Spirit is saying, go ahead, take advantage of this. You are safe you can think it through. You're going to make a wise decision here. Let's see if there's anything else going to come out. Yep. We have empathy. All right. So we have there's more beneath the surface. So there's something going on that you don't know. And I do feel like it's somebody that cares deeply for you. They have a lot of emotional um, ties to you feelings for you and again that's why it feels like family or a friend okay this does not feel like a stranger <laughs> I just heard stranger danger okay now we know that's for children but again if you're dealing with a car salesman or someone else like that right now this message is not for you so it's saying do not take this on and go out to a car dealership and make a deal, okay? If you have to do that, consult and take your time. Do not let anyone sway you. So there is part of that here for you, okay? I just, Spirit's saying don't become overconfident if you're dealing with a car dealership or traditional ways. Um, opportunity here. Now, I just heard something. I'll wait until I'm done reading this, but I will tell you what I heard. Opportunity. You will prove yourself and you will discover if you brave the rough seas, okay? Now, what I heard was OPP, other people's property, but it wasn't in the sense that um, you're taking something that's not yours. Somebody wants to give you something used. It is somebody else's property. They're done with it. So if somebody wants to give you a car, they don't want to maybe just give it outright because they think that you might be offended by that or maybe they need 500 bucks. But it's worth whatever they're asking you for, okay? So I do get that this is a used piece of property somehow. Now it could also be that somebody 
If it's not a physical item, it could be in the form of cash, making you mobile. Remember that? What I'm hearing is, is they may have invested some money a year or two ago, and they've just made a big blessing. They've received a big dividend from this, and they know what kind of shape you're in, so they want to help. They want to gift you. They want to do something nice for you. They have a lot of love and care for you. Take it as it resonates, okay? Let's see what blessings are going to come. Whoa, two of them came right away. Let's see what those are. We have star and dolphin, okay? Guaranteed success, so this is not something you should be fearing. Financial gain coming from something that you did in the past. Again, used product, okay? It's not necessarily your used product. It's somebody's. All right, let's see what else we've got. Maybe we can find out again who, who you might be uh, dealing with. We've got Libra, so it could be a family member. It could be you, another Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, or Gemini. So I'm getting air sign, but also that playful Pisciness. And I'm getting that just somebody playful, not even necessarily a Pisces. It could be, but I'm getting that playful Pisces, fantasy, fun type of energy. Anything else here with the blessings? What more might be coming out here? Look at that, two more. We've got the ladder, climbing towards success. Awesome. And then we have a basket, recognition or a reward for merit. See, somebody may just realize that um, you need this, not even a helping hand. Like they recognize you're making an effort to live a good life. You're doing everything right. You got a junk car or your boat died or whatever it is. And they just want to do this nice thing for you. Somebody sees it and wants to help you. All right, let me see. Spirit wants to give you a rune stone card here. Whoops, throwing things around. Sigil turned upside down. Oh my God, an Othel. A possession. It's, it really does feel like it's something physical, okay? The meaning of this card, do not take yourself too seriously. Playfulness here. Concentrate on your dreams and let things evolve naturally. Developing a childlike sense of wonder is going to help you to attract the energies that you might require at this time to help you. The tree associated with this is the hawthorn, and I am pretty sure that the hawthorn is in full flower this time of year, and it is an absolutely stunning tree. So maybe keep an eye out for that. If you know somebody who has a hawthorn growing in their yard, or you walk through woods with somebody, and you see hawthorn, you recognize hawthorn. I'm also hearing this could be somebody's last name, hawthorn. I just heard Hathaway. Isn't Hathaway a bank, a real estate? I don't know. They're big. Maybe I'm thinking of Hathaway from uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Mrs. Hathaway? Mrs. Hathaway! All right, let's go ahead and see what... Um, we're going to get you a couple. Maybe just one yes or no answer here. Yeah, I think we're going to get you two. Spirit just said we'll give you two yes or no answers here. So if you do not have your questions formed, you can pause this video and start it back up when you are ready. Otherwise, your first of two yes or no answers is a no. However, it says the anchor of good fortune successfully drops from the ship of change as it is being rocked wildly by the stormy waves of love. You can expect some sort of well-deserved success and maybe some luck which will bring in some stabilization to your life for the long term. The anchor of fortune will give you courage. Look at that. For that positive change, the ship of change gives you strength. The waves of love give your soul something. The waves of love give your soul something. Transformation, we got a butterfly. But look at that. The ship of change gives you strength. The positive change, okay, gives you strength. So we're getting repeat messages here. Let's see when this anchor of fortune 
grabs a hold of these blessings and brings them towards you. Alright, we have here, haste will not work in this situation, okay? Only your willpower and your talented, thoughtful approach will provide you with a warrior's cunning, okay? The ability to think on your feet. And who's a warrior? That, that little fox. True warriors do not fear, okay? They are made stronger by it, whether it's competition or unknown, okay? The challenge, they are not fearful of what is to come. They embrace it, warriors do. All right, so in one to two months, some sort of unpre unprecedented opportunities begin opening up for you. So what I'm hearing is, is pretty soon, like I just heard at the beginning of the message, two to seven weeks, there's going to be an opportunity coming to you, this situation, where you have to think kind of quick. But then right after that, this opportunity leads to other opportunities opening up for you. All right, let's go ahead and get you answer number two. Yes or no. 21, 21 on the timer. That's double threes. Awesome. You've got some sort of loving uh, support around you, guidance, somebody who cares deeply. Also, I'm getting divine uh, guidance here and support. Okay, answer number two, yes or no, is yes. Fortune is on your side again. There will be an unprecedented rise in vitality. It's waiting for you. A second wind is going to bring a phenomenal opportunity for you to conquer and overcome any task that you are facing. There is going to be a streak of positivity within your day-to-day -day life. Look at that. All these blessings coming in. Get ready for everything to turn out incredibly easy and happy, joyful, beautiful. Things are moving forward, okay? One thing comes in and it leads to more opportunities is what I just heard. Let's see how and when. Your splendid, thoughtful approach to everything elevates you to the heights of success. In four to five months, things turn your daily strategies into a warm, beautiful reality. There the, there's that word beauty again. Success is achieved by those who do not treat failure as inevitable. Yeah, um, just whatever it is, okay? If you fail, move forward. But it's saying here to stay positive because there is no such thing as failure in your eyes. You know, just embrace whatever makes you feel good. All right, we are going to get you an angel number here. Angel number oracle message. Let's see what we've got here. Look at that, 99.99. Something about red balloons. Lessons that are learned. This is the end. It's the culmination. The results are in. The benefits are here. Take time to reflect on this. You know, you don't have to think too long or hard. Okay, but this is the completion of something that you have been manifesting. Take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain your optimism and continue to drive towards your goals. Again, movement here in these cards, um, in these messages. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You have made it, and the reward goes to you. Um, what were we just saying about support, divine support, okay? Spirit has your back. Heaven has your back here. We're going to finish off with an astrology card here and the letter die, because I forgot to do the letter die during the general reading, so I will do those right after this. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to tickle, tap, boop, or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments. And please feel free to share these messages with anybody that you think will benefit from them. It is the best thing that you can do to help this channel to continue to grow. It's getting 
kind of stuck, okay? So we need to get the, the messages out to more people. If we can do that, that would be great. All right, and I do have to say, I want to take a moment just say I appreciate each and every one of you who are here all the time. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support that you do give, okay? You need to know that. I love you to pieces. All right, let's see what your astrology message is here. Chiron, hurt and heal. So something that didn't go well is about to be made right. Moving past difficult situations. That's Chiron energy. You have to go through the hurt in order to heal, okay? That's just the natural process of healing. You can't heal if you don't have something to get over first. All right, my loves, until, oh, I said I would do them and then I almost forgot. All right, let me get these letter dice words out to you. What have we got? Whoa, we have a wild, we have a wild, I'm hearing wild, wild west, wild, wild west, wild bill. I'm hearing Billy. I kept hearing Billy um, somewhere in here, but it kept like eluding me. Belinda, Bellamy, Hibachi, Ohio, Fifi, Fabio, Faye, Paige, Debbie, Brad, Gracie, Griffin, Clifford, another wild. So it's balanced, okay? It is balanced. There's somebody's energy that is good, um, a good match for yours. I love that. JT, Jazzy, Jesse, Kayla, Carly. Lucy, Leticia, LJ, Utah, AJ, Anna, Omaha, Su Su Susie Jean, Susie Jean or Sue Jean. I'm getting kind of like it's it's an accordion. It's coming in like an accordion. All right, TJ, Clark, Clayton, Clarissa, Kamala, Caden, Becca, Baja, Tennessee, Ted, Tim, Tilly, Tessa, Tammy, Tabitha, Thad, Theodore, another wild. Somebody is going to hit a jackpot. That's how it's going to feel for you when this person comes forward with this offer. It's going to be like hitting the jackpot for you, getting that car, whatever it is you've been trying to manifest, it's coming to you. All right, so what do we have here? William, Wayne, Wazy, Boz, BJ, Tatiana. I have to say that very slowly because I say it kind of weird sometimes. So Tatiana, Leticia. I think I said that already though. Helen. Hickory, Hanoi, Henry, Hunter, Newfoundland, hmm. Waters, like a name, it could be just water, Weathers, Weather Spoon. Um, Howard, okay, I don't know, um, New Jersey, we've got a C, okay, so there's somebody saying, 
I'll wait and see. No, no, no. Don't wait and see, okay? Because you're never going to see it. You have to see it, and then you'll receive it. Ike, 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 Bike, Chick. I'm hearing Clinton. Clifford is coming through again. Clayburn. Keith. Kelly, Kiefer, Cohen, Townsend, Chafee, Chad, Chef, Chavez, Guy, or G, I think it's Guy, Zuzu, Paula, Paul, Gloria, Glaxon, and no, Tevi, T E V V Y, Tevi. All right, and Connecticut is coming through. Now I am going to roll all three of these, give you one word from each of them, okay? Paxton. Oh, we got another wild. Rosie. And Kiki and Clarissa. I'm not going to argue over it. It's two, but I didn't give one before I re-rolled it. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this message. Remember, tickle tap, booper zap, claim it in the comments. I love you to pieces. Please share. And if you're interested in a personal reading, Please email me. I will send you all the details. Until RNG crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.